Hello, my name is Wayne Elias and I'm Director of Software Development at Stillwater's Revival Books. In this video series, I will present a collection of tutorials on the SWRB Knowledge Base, the companion search and research study software application for the SWRB Puritan Hard Drive. In this introductory video, I will present something of a whirlwind tour of the software to allow you to visualize how the knowledge base will turbocharge your study and utilization of the more than 12,500 resources that comprise the SWRB Puritan Hard Drive collection. For the purpose of illustration, let's assume I am embarking on a study of the 17th and 18th century Scottish Puritan divines, beginning with the works of Thomas Boston. Let's begin by launching a new search from the top level menu, clicking on New Search and then Start New Search. We're presented with the search screen that's a tabbed interface with a myriad of options for locating resources on the hard drive. We can search by author name, category, title, description, notes that we may have previously attached to the resource in earlier sessions, PDF sets of resources that are predefined for your convenience in the knowledge base, and a keyword or phrase that may be contained in the more than 1,500 searchable re PDF resources that have both embedded and appended indices. So let's go ahead and search for author. Click on the select author from list. We get this uh, interface here of the nearly 800 authors. Click on the B for Boston. Scroll down. Click on the name Thomas Boston. The search box gets populated. And we click on the search buttons. And almost instantaneously, we're given a search result screen containing uh, 72 resources. Now, this search result screen is one of the main uh, uh, screens that you'll be working with while in the knowledge base. Here we have a scrollable list of all the resources authored by Thomas Boston. And we can easily scroll through them to look at them. We can ex enlarge the window as we please. And we see we get a wealth of information uh, on, on the uh, resource contained in a relatively compact space. Now, in just looking through, uh, scrolling through here, I, I notice that there are a number of MP3 serm, uh, MP3 audiobooks that have come up, and it seems that uh, for our purposes, uh, I, I don't need a, um, audiobooks, so I'd like to go ahead and exclude those from the list. I, I need only go up to the exclude section here, click on MP3, and 27 resources. MP3 resources have been removed instantaneously from the list. Now I have 45 resources remaining. Let's quickly look at some of the information that's provided here on the scrollable list. We have file details, uh, the des uh, description of the book, uh, keywords, let's see, not all these have keywords, keywords here, Categories for the for the resource, um, matching resource category signatures, which is a concept uh, unique to this knowledge base, and which we will discuss in a future uh, video, and uh, result sets and result set lists that may contain this resource but haven't been defined as yet, and then last, uh, any notes that we may have attached uh, to the resource. In looking at the categories, I see that um, they cover a, a pretty wide range of topics. And let's say, if, again, for a purpose of illustration, I'm interested primarily in, in uh, Boston's works touching on evangelism. So what I can do is I can then narrow this list uh, to uh, and confine it only to those books that, that have among their categories, salvation, uh, evangelism, which is in the uh, category salvation and evangelism. To do this, I go to the search button here in the header, go to category, 
select salvation and evangelism and execute the search. Now, I can, I could have pulled up all the resources by uh, um, that um, are classified as, uh, under salvation and evangelism and create a new list replacing what's already here. I could add those uh, resources to this list and what I actually want to do is to limit what's already here to just those resources that are on this list that have the category salvation and evangelism. And by clicking on the limit button, I get the message that I have removed 35 resources from the uh, search results set and I'm now left with results, 10 results. And if you look down as I scroll, you'll see that each one of these uh, works has salvation and evangelism among its categories. Now as a point of interest, you, uh, as you've seen that, that it's taken me uh, essentially three searches to, uh, to get to this 10 resource list. However, I could have done that in one search screen by using the search by multiple fields and by, by entering in particular fields. Let's see how that, that would work. I'll go ahead and launch a new search and use the search by multiple fields. Here I can add the author, Thomas Boston. I could type it in as well, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'd rather click. And since I want to restrict it to a particular uh, category, salvation and evangelism, I click on salvation and evangelism. And since I only wanted PDFs, I can go down to media type and instead of any media type, which is the default, which gives you every resource, whether it's a PDF, uh, an MP3 audio file, or a WMV or MP4 uh, vi video file, I can go ahead and restrict it to PDFs alone. Now I can launch the search. And as you see with just that one um, search screen, I was able to pull up exactly the same list that took three successive searches to do the same thing. Now how you how you use the interface will be entirely up to you. The one thing you need to understand in, in using the search by multiple fields, and again this will be dealt with in much more detail in future videos, is that each piece of data that you end in for searching must match in order for a particular resource to be selected. So we, we highly recommend that when you use the search by multiple field screen, you put in only the information that you have a reasonable expectation of matching the resources that you want. Otherwise, you can do it incrementally uh, um, and, and get uh, a more accurate results because if any of those, um, if any one of those uh, pieces of information you've put in the ser search by multiple field screen does not match, then the resource will not be pulled up at all. But since you have the ability to do successive searches using the same uh, base instead of having to go out to the database uh, each time and doing a new search, um, you're able to drill down uh, and, and get exactly what you're looking for um, even if it takes a number of uh, steps.